Hi, I'm James with the Brains Report, and today we're going to review the Purple Original Mattress, which I'm laying on here conveniently enough. So let me smooth that out for you. Uh, first of all, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, there are various benefits to you, to me, um, and to um, social causes around the world if, if you do subscribe. Uh, to keep things brief, I'm not going to get into the details of that. Uh, I am going to point out that I have reviewed uh, and tested dozens of mattresses over the past few years and written about them for major publications. I've developed a series of different tests to, to see um, how good mattresses are for a variety of different uses. And uh, I'll just, a little spoiler here, uh, purple is the real deal. It's, it's good stuff and I highly recommend it. Uh, let's get into the different details though. Uh, first of all, this baby comes with a 100 night risk free trial. Uh, it's truly risk free in that they even, if you decide uh, within the 100 nights that you want to, uh, that the purple isn't right for you, they uh, pay for sh shipping of you returning the mattress and everything. Uh, so it, it's a truly risk free. Sometimes uh, mattress makers make you pay to ship the mattress back, uh, which is no bueno. Um, but yeah, truly risk-free. Also, uh, Purple has showrooms across the country that you can uh, test a Purple mattress out on. Uh, right now we're in a pandemic, so you may not want to do that, but uh, down the road it might be worth knowing. And uh, this also comes with a 10-year warranty. Uh, I, it took me about less than 10 minutes to set this mattress up and I created a video of it uh, which I'll link to in the description below uh, if you can check it out. This is a, a very heavy and hard to move mattress. Uh, it weighs, this is the queen and it weighs 110 pounds and it's a little flop, flops around and stuff so that's hard to, to kind of deal with. Uh, but they do have a white glove delivery service where someone comes into your house, sets it all up for you wherever you want it, uh, and then they remove all the packaging and, and you don't even break a sweat. Uh, that currently isn't available because we're in a pandemic, but I'm sure it'll be back once the everything uh, clears out and we're all vaccinated and such. Let's get into the construction of this, this bad boy. It is about nine and a quarter inches thick. And it's got uh, three layers plus the cover. Uh, the top layer is it's is Purple's famous two-inch hyper-elastic polymer purple grid, uh, and that's these little grids. Well, I'll take the cover off in a little bit, and you can kind of see it. But it's a grid of squares about two inches thick um, that just kind of buckle when you lay down on them. Uh, you can kind of see. You can almost see that there's like there's a line there, line there, line there. You can kind of see where the grid is forming. Um, so yeah, uh, it's got a middle layer of three and a half inch polyurethane foam, and the base layer is four inches again polyurethane foam, but it's a little bit denser for extra support. The cover is 29% viscose, 67% polyester, and 4% lycra. Um, feels pretty comfy. And when you're setting it up, remember that the mattress requires a flat, sturdy foundation. Uh, we're using slats on the bottom here. Usually if you use slats, you want uh, less than three inches between the slats. Uh, two, one or two is usually better. Um, and you can also use a box adjustable bed um, or just toss it on the floor. Floor is very supportive. Uh, just be careful um, when you're uh, drinking in bed uh, that you don't spill and that it gets on the mattress. Actually, no matter where you put your mattress, just don't, maybe get a little protector, uh, but just be careful when you're drinking in bed. I know it's fun to do, um, but you got to be cautious. Okay, enough about that. Let's, let's get into the, the nuts and bolts. Let's get into the performance of this bad boy. I've been sleeping on it for about well, exactly 14 nights, and I'm a big fan. Uh, one of the things I like is I tend to sleep hot, 
and this uh, cools down quite a bit. Um, it has very good heat dissipation properties. I got this cool infrared gun and I just shoot the bed. Um, I, I usually shoot it first thing in the morning uh, to gauge the temperature. And then I stand there groggily and kind of just staring off into space for about two minutes and then I measure it again. And I found that uh, once I get out of bed, the temperature drops about 11 uh, degrees. And that tells me that it's got good heat dissipation. Uh, once my body moves from the area, the, the heat just disappears quickly. And I've been comfortable in the bed. Um, so yeah, that it's it's great there. Um, next, I'm going to show you the motion transfer test that I do. I stick a, a can of beer in the middle. Uh, this is short. Schwartz Brewery, um, Michigan Brewery. I'm in Michigan right now. And then I take a Brunswick bowl, bowling ball. Um, Brunswick is another Michigan company. Um, Muskegon. I don't know who HBH is. Uh, I got this at a second hand store. And I hold it about four feet above the mattress so that it will land about a foot from the can. And as you can hear, the dog does not like that. But as you can see, the can fell over right away. If this had good motion transfer properties, uh, the can would stay upright. Uh, Usually I do this test several times to see uh, if the can stays upright. Uh, every time I've tested, the can's fallen over fairly quickly. Um, so, not the best motion transfer. Most motion transfer uh, dampening is important if you share a bed with someone, perhaps a dog, uh, who jumps around and um, moves a lot in the night. Uh, if there's good motion dampening, it won't disturb your sleep at all. Um, with this, it might you, you might not want to share it with a partner. Uh, if you do, you might want to go with a size larger than what you wanted. And that way you can have more distance between and the motion won't be as disturbing. Uh, next, we're going to look at the edge support. And test that. I sit on the side. And uh, as you can see, it kind of scrunches down a fair amount. Uh, another way to test is if you're sleeping on the very edge, and I just slowly move over till I fall. As you can see, I didn't make it very far before I fell. That tells me that it doesn't have the best edge support. Um, and edge support can be another good thing you want when sharing a bed with someone. And also if you like to you know, sit on the side to put on your socks, indoor shoes, or Crocs, or flip-flops. Oh, there's Finky. This is Finky Brains, uh, one of my co-testers. Uh, so, I sleep on my side and stomach. And I found sleeping on my side was much more comfortable. Uh, on my stomach, I felt like I sunk a little too much in. Uh, and that led me to feel that this bed was softer than most, but experts, uh, most expert sites say it's on the firm side. Um, I talked to Chris Allen uh, with Purple. He's the director of mattresses and bed frames. And uh, he said Purple is firm, but isn't as firm as the industry standard. Um, so, uh, but... But also, I should add, um, the grid the grid inside is designed to buckle immediately. Unlike normal memory foam, which like gradually adjusts to your body. So, it provides great support, but the firmness can be quite subjective, uh, depending on your sleeping style and body. Uh, I also talked to um, Chris Allen uh, about who the bed is best for and I I found to me it seemed like it'd be best for side sleepers 
but according to their own internal research, the uh, they they did like a satisfaction uh, assessment of different body types and different sleeping styles and on different purple mattresses and they didn't find any statistical difference uh, between the satisfaction uh, based on any of those factors. Uh, people just of all sleeping styles and body types seem to enjoy the purple mattress. Take that, f it's internal research, so take that for however you want. Um, I'm not sure what our dog's doing over there. Uh, he likes to lick brick. Um, usually that's an insult, but he's cool with that. So that kind of covers the performance. We're now going to take a little look under the hood, if we can, here. Uh, let's see where... I believe the zipper to the cover is way over here. Uh, oh, getting my exercise here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here you can see the grid a lot better. There you. So yeah, you've got two inches of this on top. There's a border here that uh, in theory should provide good edge support, but does not in practice. And then you've got the uh, three and a half inch polyurethane and four inches, are my numbers right? Uh, something like that. You, you can go ahead and rewind the tape and see. But um, this is kind of the more sturdier, denser area here. Uh, so that is the purple mattress. Uh, it currently costs uh, $1,150 for the queen. And I, at that price, I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a very good mattress. You can try it risk-free. Um, it's great for a variety of different body types. I especially recommend it if you tend to overheat at night. Uh, because the heat dissipation properties of this is, are excellent. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, what else do I? Please, uh, if you have any questions, please subscribe or please comment below. And also, please subscribe. Uh, we we could really use your support. No purple. Let's celebrate and go out with a big bang. Thank you, everyone. We sleep, we sleep, on a purple mattress 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 we sleep.